Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 Cydia tweaks for your iOS 7 devices. Of course, the jailbreak for iOS 7 was just released a few days ago, so not a lot of Cydia tweaks are currently updated to the iOS 7 operating system. And also, if you do have the A7 processor with the 64-bit architecture, like the iPhone 5S, iPad Air, and I think the iPad mini second generation, almost no Cydia tweaks at the moment will work on these new devices. So if you have the A7 processor devices, what I suggest you to do right now is just to wait for the Cydia tweaks to be updated. All right, the first Cydia tweak is called Zeppelin. Now this is kind of an older Cydia tweak. What it does is, as you can see on the status bar, currently this has the Batman logo, so you can replace your text. So I have the iPod text. If you have your iPhone, you can replace your carrier name to any of these logos, which is a very nice, simple way to customize your status bar. So the next Cydia tweak is called Dock Shift. Oh, by the way, all of these Cydia tweaks are free, except for the last one. So they are pretty much all free. So Dock Shift, as you can see on my iPod Touch, the background of my dock is transparent compared to my iPhone 5S. So you can change it to opaque, which is the default iOS 7 background, I think. And also you can change it to more of a transparent background. All right, moving on to the next Cydia tweak. This one is called Purge. Really simple tweak. As you can see, I have a bunch of applications running in the background. All I have to do is just hold on to the card and I can have the option to delete all of the background running applications with one click. So that one was called Purge. The next tweak is called Lock Screen Tool. Just go into Settings, and here you can disable the text on your lock screen, or you can change it to any other custom text. Normally it says Slide to Unlock, but of course you can change it to anything else. And also you can disable the Camera Grabber. So it's a really useful city tweak. This one is called Lock Screen Tool. Next, I have another Cydia tweak. This one is called F.Lux. Now, I also have this tweak or program installed on my computer. Basically, this allows you to change the color temperature of your screen. So if you're using your device at night, you can change it to more of a yellow orangey tint, and it looks better at night. The next Cydia tweak is called MX Tube. Now, this is more of a Cydia application. Uh, this is actually a really old application. I used it a lot when I was on iOS 3 or iOS 4. What it does is that you can search for any YouTube video, and you can, of course, watch the video, but you have the YouTube application to watch the video. So the main function of this application is to download the videos on YouTube. So you can choose any video and you can download it in three different formats or three different resolutions. I'm just gonna download it in a lower resolution to save some time. Uh, so I can download a video and watch it without internet connection. And uh, that's pretty useful in my opinion. So that one was called MX Tube. The next tweak is called Hidden Settings 7. Now this tweak just came out a few days ago, so it's a relatively new Cydia tweak. So you can access the settings by going to your control center right here. And what it does is that you can change a bunch of different animations or a bunch of different settings on your springboard. So let me just slow down my animation right here. And as you can see, everything is really slow. All the animation just slowed down. Let me just go back to the settings. Here you can change even more settings. For example, your notification center, your control center, your lock screen. And this is actually what Apple uses to tweak the springboard settings. So if you don't like the animations or the settings on your device, you can download this tweak and customize it to the way you like. The next one on my list is called Software Update Killer. Really simple tweak, as the name says, this basically kills the function for you to update to the latest firmware of iOS. So you don't accidentally update it and lose the iOS 7 untethered jailbreak. It's a really useful tweak. This one is called Software Update Killer. The second last Cydia tweak is called SB Settings. 
I'm pretty sure that you know what this is, but for those who don't know, who just got their iOS 7 device recently, or it's their first time jailbreaking, they probably don't know what SB settings is. Basically, this is kind of similar to Control Center, but you can access a lot more settings. For example, you can go to More, and here you can actually go down to Mobile Substrate Add-ons, and you can disable different tweaks that you installed. So if you have a Cydia tweak that keeps on crashing your device, you can simply go here and disable that Cydia tweak. And you can also add different themes to your SB settings. So similar to Control Center, but uh, some people prefer SB settings over Control Center. Anyways, this one is called SB settings. And the last one I'm going to show you is called iFile. Now this is also a really popular older city tweak. And what it does is that this allows you to access all the internal files of your device. So you can SSH different files or programs into your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. If you have the iPhone browser program or iPhone box installed on your computer, you can simply just transfer files to your iPod or your device without using iTunes. And I don't think iTunes allows you to download or transfer files like text files or different formatted files to your device. So this application comes in handy if you want to see some internal files of your device. And if you want to hack some games or hack some applications, you can do that with iFile. So this basically concludes my top 10 City of Tweak video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more top 10 City of Tweak videos in the future once more City of Tweaks gets updated or more new ones comes out. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video.